Hello folks, welcome back to MRA Automation. In this video, I am going to talk about automation roadmap to become an automation expert. Guys, when you want to learn automation testing, you might get a lot of questions in your mind regarding learning approach and its action plan. Because in automation market, there are different tools and automation supported programming languages. You don't worry. I will give insight about it. Roadmap nothing but it is an action plan to achieve our goals. So automation roadmap tells what we have to learn to become an automation expert. This is a roadmap diagram. Let me help you to understand this. In testing, we have manual testing and automation testing. You should know some basics of manual testing concepts because few concepts are common for both manual and automation testing. Like what are the different testing types? You should aware of some basic testing types like smoke testing, Sanity testing, regression testing, cross browser testing, parallel testing. Okay, bug status. Any bug is having different status. Okay, it could be new, open, ready for testing, in testing, and closed status. Okay, every bug is having severity and priority. We can classify it into high, medium, and low. Okay, you should know about this. As a methodology and coming to the tools in as part of manual testing we should know about test management tools and as well as bug reporting tools zira q test mtm etc coming to the automation testing i classified into two parts first one is must have skills and the second one is nice to have skills must to have skills means these are mandatory. You must know these skills. Okay. Nice to have skills means it is optional. These are not mandatory, but if you have, it is good. Let us see one by one. First one is languages. You must know one language. It could be Java, it could be Python. It could be C sharp or JavaScript. If you are a beginner, I would suggest you learn Java first because if you are comfort with Java, other languages like C sharp, Python, JavaScript will be easy for you. You can learn with minimum effort as per requirement. Okay. In Java, what are the concepts you need to learn? To get more context, you can have a walkthrough of our java series videos now coming to the automation tools these are the some automation tools in automation market selenium is most demanding tool coming to the playwright it is emerging tool i would suggest you learn selenium or playwright or cypress coming to these tools sahi pro and renorex very few companies are using these two tools and, and the openings also very less okay selenium and flavorite supports all these languages java python c sharp and javascript cypress supports javascript only and sahipro supports both java and javascript coming to the renorix it will support c sharp next frameworks these are the different frameworks page object model cucumber or spec flow in case of selenium c sharp the framework is called as spec flow in case of selenium java it is cucumber okay and the data driven framework test ng or n unit or pytest okay in case of selenium python it is pytest in case of selenium c sharp it is any unit in case of selenium and java we have to use test ng okay 
these are actually unit testing frameworks as part of automation we can use these tools to organize and run our automation scripts next hybrid framework hybrid frameworks means it is combination of all these frameworks phase object model and cucumber these two are widely using frameworks in automation world okay next api testing nowadays api testing is part of all projects okay as a functional automation tester we have to perform api testing as well for api automation testing you can focus on rest assured okay next one is devops coming to the devops you should know some basic knowledge about git jenkins and docker first one git it is used for version controlling and jenkin or bamboo these are ca and cd tools as part of ca and cd we should know some basic concepts like how to create jobs how to run our scripts from jenkin and how to schedule our script if you know this concept it is fair enough coming to the docker using docker we can execute our automation scripts in containers instead of physical machines okay the purpose is we can save infrastructure cost in docker just we should know how to create containers and how to execute our scripts in container okay next database as part of database we should have some insight about basics of sql queries like how to get data from database and how to validate that data as a automation tester we don't perform actions like in creating tables inserting data deleting data first of all we have access for getting data only we don't get access to perform other operations okay you should be good at giants concept because in real time our project data is available in different tables we have to fetch data from different tables using giants okay so for whatever we discussed this skill set is must for automation testing next one is nice to have skills means these are not mandatory skills if you are careful of doing these activities then it's good like mobile testing performance testing cloud automation testing okay as part of mobile testing we have appm framework using this appm we can automate mobile apps okay so coming to the performance testing in market there are different tools available like load runner neo load and j unit okay cloud automation testing so these are the most popular cloud platforms browser stack sas labs and lambda test these will contain different devices and browsers to perform automation testing you should know any one of these cloud platform technology okay if you are able to perform all these activities then your role will be full stack automation tester okay in development you might hear about full stack developer right what is the role of full stack developer he should be responsible for both front end and back end development right in similar fashion full stack automation tester is responsible to perform functional testing api testing mobile automation testing performance testing and cloud automation testing also based on requirement i hope you got clear picture about what to learn in automation testing to become an automation expert that's all for this video guys thanks for watching see you in next video